We're joined now by Dr. Lenora Saxinger, an infectious disease specialist at the University of Alberta. And Dr. Saxinger, as we've heard, some premiers in particular starting to talk tough now about people who seem to insist on getting together in, in groups and encroaching on that, that uh, two meter uh, distance. From your perspective, what's the best way to get people to comply? Um, I think that what we will see is that a lot of people are doing a great job already. Um, there's a possibility that some people may not yet be fully aware of the recommendations, and so that's a piece. But then I think there's another group of people who really don't feel or see the risk yet. Um, of course, once we start seeing increasing number of cases and people going to the ICU, the risk will become a lot more obvious and people might modulate their behavior. But um, ultimately, I think we have to try to target that group a little bit earlier because that's getting a little late for social distancing. Yeah, so maybe people here are going to have to see examples uh, close to them. You've already seen some examples in other parts of the world. Absolutely, and I think um, there was uh, one case that I actually like to make sure people know about is that over one half of the South Korean epidemic can be traced to one individual who had a fever and went to a hotel buffet and then went to a large uh, religious gathering. And the contacts of that individual were subsequently responsible for a huge part of their epidemic, over 50% of it. And I think that no one wants to be that person. And making sure that people recognize that actions as simple as going out to eat when you're feeling a little bit off or going to a church when you're feeling a little bit off can have huge consequences.